Hello, Victor. Hello, Victor. Welcome. Hello, Victor. You can hear me? You can hear me? Yes. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Let me check some things here, please. Voy a hacer unos cambios. Me permite unos segunditos. Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome. I'm sorry, I was checking some specific details, right? I was checking some details antes de comenzar la clase, so sorry. I'm here, welcome again. Welcome, uh, I hope Rolando gets better. Espero que Rolando se recupere. Uh, por ahí me decía también Elizabeth Hernández que también está un poquito mal, ¿verdad? Pero esperamos, perdón, disculpen, que se recupere. So welcome, welcome. And now we're going to start with the PowerPoint presentation. We're going to start with the PowerPoint presentation. Give me a second. I will share the presentation right now. Okay. Here we are. Today with the PowerPoint presentation, we're going to practice only the vocabulary, right? Only the vocabulary. Okay. Only one question. Can you hear me well? Eh, Víctor, ¿me escuchan bien? Víctor. Hello, Víctor. Víctor, hello. Hi. Ok, let me see. Juan Alfonso. Juan Alfonso, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's, let's start with the presentation. Now, let me see here. Okay, today we're going to practice with two points, right? Directions and conversation. Is it far from here? Is it far from here? And we're going to um, 
practice uh, reading, uh, walk up Fifth Avenue. We're going to talk about New York, right? Okay, uh, and then we're going to learn how to give directions. So today is for locations and directions. Locations and directions, okay? So, and now we're going to practice just the vocabulary, right? Just the vocabulary. Please pay attention. Ah, and of course the objective, right? And let me see who wants to help me. Hello, Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Hello, teacher. Welcome. Please, can, can you read the, the lesson objective for me, please, for the class, Marlene? Can you read the objective for the class, Marlene? Uh, lesson objective. By the... Um, By the end? Permit me. Can no be all. <laughs> By the end of this class, uh, you will learn how, how, how to ask for um, giving direction. Additionally, you will practice a conversation while illust illustrate, mm -hmm. illustrate how this topic in is used in a real life setting. Sí. Okay, thank you very much. Real life setting, in la vida real, right? A conversation about a real life. Thank you, again, as I say, directions, directions, okay? And if we have this um, vocabulary, walk up, walk down, Go up, go down, turn right, turn left, near, far, look up, look down, across from, behind, ma'am, turn around. Now listen, please. Walk up means to walk up, right? Caminar hacia arriba, especially if there is a a street that is like, like this, right? With a pendant. Una calle que tiene pendiente, right? Walk down is go walk down. And similar is go up and go down. It's the same, right? Ir hacia arriba, ir hacia abajo, right? The only difference here is that when you say go down, uh, sometimes uh, the street is not like you say it's like this, right? No necesariamente la calle tiene que ser así, empinada hacia abajo, ¿verdad? Go down or walk down sometimes means Avanzar un poco en la cuadra, right? Good. Now, turn right, look, turn, turn right, right? This is my right, my right, and then I turn, okay? And turn left, this is my left, look, my left, so I turn left. Turn left. Turn right. Okay, turn left, turn right. Similar like a robot, right? Okay, good. And then near, far, near, far, right? Now, look, look up, look down. Down, up, up and down, up and down, right? Look up, look down, okay? Then across from, cruzar, right? And behind, behind, atrás, right? Behind. Mom is an informal way to say madame, madame, right? In El Salvador, people say, eh, madre, le ayudo madre con las cosas, you know? In El Salvador, right? But in the United States, they say mom or madam, I say, right? And turn around. Look, this is turn around. You are here, and then you turn around, right? Turn around. Turn around. Dar la vuelta, okay? 
Good. Now repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Walk up. Walk down. Go up. Go down. Turn right. Turn left. Near. Far. Look up. Look down. Across from. Behind. Mom. Turn around. Okie dokie, any questions? Any questions so far? Questions? No? Billy, Irving, questions? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Do you have any question? Do you have any question about vocabulary? Uh, no. No. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. The other students, Eric, Monica, Cindy. No teacher. No questions. Very good. Question. Huh? Sorry. Excuse me. Repeat. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I say, right, madam, lady. Like you say, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, ladies, madam, right? It's an elegant form to say uh, uh, miss, miss or missus, right? Senora, right? So they say, instead of saying madam, they say ma'am. It's very informal, very informal, okay? Madam, ma'am. Good. Understand? Okay, now let's continue, right? And this is for the one exercise. Now we're going to go to a 3.11 and we have another, another objective, right? Billy, please, can you read the objective for the class, Billy? Okay. Uh, with the end of the class, you will develop a skill in reading for the times and making inference. Okie dokie. So, how to read detail, right? And reading. So, because we're going to make a reading. Good. Now, and then we have this vocabulary for this reading part, right? Esta es la última parte que vamos a ver este día del reading, pero vamos a adelantar el vocabulario. Okay, now, please. Uh, listen. Floor. View, entrance, outdoor, standing, middle, building, ice skate. Okay, floor. Floors are the levels in a building. Level number one, level number two, level number three. So floor one. Let's say, for example, Torre Cuscatlan, right? It has... A lot of floor, right? One, two, three, four, oops, very big, right? View is when you're watching. Imagine you're in La Puerta del Diablo, right? And you're watching Milocango Lake, you're watching the mountains, San Salvador, that's a view, a view, right? Entrance is when you go to a building, is when, when you go in the building, so that's the entrance, right? Entrada, right? And a door is the opposite of indoor. Right? Indoor is in a house, for example. You are in a house. And outdoor, you are on the street. On the street is the exterior. The exterior. Outdoor. And indoor is the opposite. You are in your house, right? Or in a building or in a, in a bank or whatever, right? Indoor. So outdoor is out. Good. Standing is like Imagine you are waiting for someone, you, you are like standing, right? That is separado, right? Middle, middle, en medio, right? Middle. And building, you know, it's like a construction. It could be a house, it could be a, a building, etc., etc. And ice skate is skating on the ice. For example, in the United States, it's very common, especially in the winter, where they have snow. Brrr, no, right? 
So they go uh, ice skating, something like, like this. Okay, ice skating, skates on, on the ice. Good, any question about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? No questions? Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. Hey, floor. Se usa también para decir suelo o es otra palabra. Yeah, you're right. Yes. Floor okay. is, is the same, right? But okay. uh, when you're talking about a building, right? Cuando estamos hablando de una casa, de, un, de una construcción, right? Pero si usted sale a la calle, um, si es suelo, se dice land. O pues si es la, la acera, es sidewalk. O si es la calle, es the street, right? Ok. Cuando usted está dentro de un edificio, de una casa, de un banco, donde sea. floor es, es, es el piso, el suelo. El piso del, del, del lugar, ok. El lugar, correcto. Pero también se usa para decir los niveles de un edificio o de una casa grande, ¿no? Ok. Ok, Tisha. In, in my case, for example, I live in a building. I live in Colonia Sacamil. So we have four floors in, in my building. In my building, four floors. Ok. Understand? So we use in two ways. Se usa en dos formas. Para decir niveles de un edificio y para decir el suelo dentro de una construcción. Okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? I like questions. Come on. Questions? Victor, Alejandro? Questions? Questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. No question. Thank you very much. Now, let's continue, right? Now we're going to go to the platform. Nos vamos a ir a la plataforma. Okay, let me let me close this. Just give me a second. Let's close this. Okie dokie. Sorry. And sharing the PowerPoint presentation. Finish. Okay, here we are. Here we are, class. Just give me this second. This is the one. Now, this is the platform, right? Now, uh, remember we're in section number three, right? Section number three. And we're going to review, repasar, right? Review the class of yesterday. 3.1. 3.1 is the, uh, the vocabulary, the vocabulary, right? Okay, let's watch again. Let's watch the vocabulary. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for stores and other places and discuss where you can get different things. Let's get started by listening and practicing. One, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Two, you can buy bread at a supermarket. Three, you can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. Four, you can buy gasoline at a gas station. Five, you can buy a sandwich at a restaurant. Six, you can buy stamps at a post office. Seven, you can buy a sweatshirt at a department store. Eight, you can buy traveler's checks at a bank. What I would like for you to do next is to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. For example, you can pay bills at a bank. You can buy shoes at a department store. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Now we're going to read the commentary, right? The commentaries. Let me see. Let me see what happened with with the group uh, beginner three, beginner three. Vamos a ver si los chicos del uh, nivel principiante tres nos han comentado. Okay, oh, yes, only one, two, three, four. Solo cuatro comentarios, come on. Look at the teacher, look at the teacher. I am sad. 
I am sad because only for commentary, but we're going to, we're going to read. Uh, Alicia, thank you, Alicia, for your commentary. You can, let me maximize. Let me maximize. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You can cash a check at a bank. Okay, that's nice. You can take blood pressure, sorry, blood pressure at a drugstore, right? Aquí se no, un error de dedito ahí de, de Alicia, right? Una G era aquí, a drugstore. Okay, now, uh, you can send a letter at a post office. Good, thank you, good commentaries. Uh, no nos vamos a los comentarios completos porque si no, um, me cuesta salir después de aquí de este cuadro, okay, so. Rolando Campos, thank you for your commentary. I always buy my serum at the supermarket. Good. I withdraw, that means eh, retirar, right? My million dollars, el million de dólares que pone el banco, dice Rolando, oh, sorry. my remittances in the bank. Nice, nice. Good. Rolando Campos, again, I want to go to the supermarket to buy fruit. Thank you. And Ana Maria Alvarado, I pay bills in the bank. Okay, please look at the teacher. Please make commentaries in the video. Make commentaries, practice, right? If you tell me, teacher, a mí no creo que me diga eh, lo errorcito en la clase, ¿verdad? No les digo nada, ¿verdad? Pero sí, los comentarios me ayudan porque así entre todos sabemos cómo se escribe bien las oraciones. Así que por favorcito, ayúdenme. Escriban sus comentarios y todos vamos a aprender, ¿ok? Now let's continue, please, let's continue. We're going to go to the knowledge check. Knowledge check, right? Listen to the Anderson family and uh, answer the question, right? We heard this yesterday, right? Lo leímos este ayer, ¿verdad? Lo escuchamos. But let's listen again. Pay attention, please. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you gonna go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike, but what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, that's it. Now listen again and we're going to, to check it together, right? Let's Page 87. Exercise right? 2. Listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to buy them? Complete the chart. 1. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. 
Okay, let's start with Billy. Hey, Billy, where is Jean going to buy the swimsuit that she needs? At the supermarket, at the department store, or at the beach? If you need help, tell me, Billy. Quiere ayuda, me dice, okay? So, don't worry, Billy, don't worry. Alonso, please, help me, Alonso. To the rescue, al rescate. Okay. At the department store. At the department store, okay, good. But wait a minute, let me, let me check one thing. One. Jean, are you going to go to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I need a new swimsuit, you said, right? I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. I'm Good. Going. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. To the department store, right? To the department store. Two. Good, that's it. Thank you. Now, number two. Uh, Who's going to help me? Let me see. Abel, can you help me, Abel, please, in number two? Pay okay, attention. Sure. Okay, thank you for your help. Listen, the second part, right? Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okay, so what does mom need from the supermarket? Groceries, clothes, or cookies for dessert? Abel? Cookies for dessert. Thank you very much. Number three. Uh, who's going to help me? Alejandro. Can you help me, Alejandro, please? With number three. Yes, Pay attention, you Alejandro. Thank you, thank you. Pay attention. Huh? Excuse me? Oops, something wrong happened. Give me, give me a second. Okay, let me check. There is a message. Pero antes hay un mensaje, déjenme ver. Uh, Ana María creo que está teniendo problemas con el, con el audio, ¿verdad? Eh, sigue intentando, Ana María. Sigue intentando. Creo que la lluvia está molestando, como siempre. Okay, now, please. Need. I just need some cookies for dessert tomorrow. Okay, We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okay, pay attention, Alejandro. Three. Three. What's wrong? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Okay, Alejandro, what does dad, the father, need to from the drugstore? A swimsuit, cookies, or aspirin? He needs aspirin. He needs aspirin. Good. Excuse me. I have a Another what? Well, that's it, right? Now let's go to the number four. Number four. Uh, Marlene. Hello, Marlene. Can you help me with number four? Marlene, pay attention, Marlene. Okay. Mom, let's go to a movie tonight. Good idea, Mike. But what movie? I don't know. We need to look in a newspaper. Well, your father is going to the drugstore right now. Go with him and get a newspaper. Oh, great. Dad? Dad? Okay, so where is Mike going to go with his dad, with his father, Marlene? To the movies? To the drugstore to get a newspaper? Periodical, right? Or to the park? To the movies. To the movies. Okay. We're going to check it. Okay, number one is okay, two, four. Okay, Mar Marlene, uh, I guess this that's another option, I guess, Marlene. 
listen for the last time listen this part mom let's go to a movie tonight let's go to a movie tonight okay good, good idea mike but what movie i don't know we need to look in a newspaper what movie we need to look in the newspaper we need to look in the newspaper right well your father is going to the drugstore right now your father is going to go to the drugstore your father to the drug go with him and get a newspaper oh great dad dad okay marlene reconsideration reconsideration of your answer to the drugstore or to the park marlene to the drugstore to the drug Okay. Cling. Correct. Nice. Very good. So these these are the answers. Now let's continue. Let's continue with the compound noun, right? Only practice this. Well, post of natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started. Hi okay. everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when expressing compound nouns. Let's get started by listening and practicing. Compound nouns. Notice the stress in these compound nouns. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. I would like to start off by explaining what compound nouns are. A noun equals a person, a place, or a thing. So basically anything that you can see around you is a noun. Compound nouns are a combination between two words that make up a new noun. Okay, so according to the video, right? Remember, a noun is everything. It could be a place, an animal, a thing, a person, whatever, right? And we also have proper nouns, like Victor, Josue, Ana Maria, right, etc., etc. Or it could be a, a common noun, the student, the doctor, the person, the table, etc., etc. Common and proper nouns. Now, what is a compound noun? What is a compound noun? For example, the compound noun gas station. Gas, the word by itself, is a noun. Station is a noun. Together, they make up a different noun. Now that we understand what compound nouns are, I would like to dig into stressing these compound nouns. Stressing words in English is a big topic. However, in this class, we're going to make it short and simple and stick to compound nouns only. So the simple rule that we can follow is whenever we have a compound noun, we usually stress the first word or the first noun. This means that we're going to say the first word louder than the rest. Let me read these compound nouns again. I would like for you to practice with me as well. Post office, gas station, restroom, coffee shop, drugstore, supermarket, bookstore, department store. Okay, according to the video, the clue is that you're going to give the stress, le vamos a dar el acento, la fuerza de voz, right? In the first word, in la primera palabra, okay? So in this case, you don't say, Post office. No, you don't say post office, right? You say post office, right? Okay, good. Now we're going to practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Post office. Gas station. Restroom. Coffee shop. Drugstore. Supermarket. Bookstore. Department store. Okay, thank you. Uh, por ahí tengo algunos mensajes. Eh, Lorena 
no puede usar su micrófono, pero nos está escuchando, ¿verdad? Eh, también tenemos a Elizabeth y Rolando, que esta vez no, no pueden participar, pero están con nosotros, así que muchas gracias. Y Billy también le está fallando el micrófono este día, ¿verdad? Así es que lo siento, que haya muchos fallos a veces, pero eh, primero Dios podemos corregir, corregir esas cosas, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you very much. Y no se preocupen, que no es culpa de ustedes. Así que, tranquilos. Now, let's continue, right? And, um, let's go to the preposition of place, right? Pay attention to this video, please. This video is the, the most important part of the class today, right? Eh, estos dos videos que vamos a ver son la parte más importante de esta clase. Okay, so pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn prepositions of place in order to give directions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, It's Across from the Park. Let's listen and practice. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? A public restroom? Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't think so. Oh no, my son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. Okay. Give me a second. Now, please repeat after me. Excuse me. Can you help me? Is there a public restroom around here? In this case, around here means cerca de aquí, right? Now, please repeat. A public restroom? Mm, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, no. My son needs a restroom. Well, there's a restroom in the department store. There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street, Street, Main Street. Listen, Main means eh, principal, la calle principal, right? Hasta hay una canción de los 70 que sí se llama la calle principal, Main Street, right? Okay, now again, please repeat. There's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Well, there's a restroom in the department store on Main Street. Where on Main Street? It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. On the corner of Main, en First Avenue. That means entre la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida, right? Okay, now, please, continue. On the corner of Main and First. Yes, it's across from the park. You can miss it. Thanks a lot. Good. Any question for this conversation class? Something you don't understand about the conversation? Teacher. Yes, tell me, tell me. What is restroom? A uh, restroom. That's Irving, right? Irving, Yes, right? yes. Okay, Irving. A restroom is a public bathroom. Ah, it's okay. a public bathroom, right? A public okay. A public PP room. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Now, another question? 
No questions? Okie dokie. Now let's continue. Let's continue with the video. Corner of Main and First? Yes, it's across from the park. The department store is on. Wait, across from. On. Now, I would like to talk about prepositions of place. Let's practice the following prepositions and phrases. On. On the corner of. Across from. Next to. Between. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. Let's take a look at our map now. Oh, okay, class. Now, look at this. On is in general surface, right? Superficie. So every time you are uh, sobre, right? So you say on, sobre la calle, sobre la acera. Even on, on object, right? You say on the table, sobre la mesa, right? So on is generally surface, superficie, right? So when you say, ah, estoy en, en la calle Arce, estoy en la, en la avenida Cuscatlán, en la avenida España, right? En la, en la calle Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. So you say on, right? Then when you say on the corner of, right, is en la esquina de. There are a lot of buildings. Hay muchos edificios que quedan entre una calle y la otra, ¿no? En la esquina de la calle. Across from means that there is a building in, on the other side of the street, right? Quiere decir que eh, in front of, en frente de, hay otro edificio, otro lugar. Entonces, cruzando la calle, across from, está el lugar que nosotros queremos, right? Hay que cruzarse la calle. From. Next to means a la par de. Near significa cerca. Pero la diferencia, permítame que tengo un, de, un mensaje acá, no voy a hacer que. Ok. Uh, ok. Dice Elizabeth que nos está escuchando. Sí. Thank you. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Ok, now. Eh. I was telling you that near is different from next to. La palabra near o cerca es diferente a next to porque near puede estar de cualquier lado, ¿no? Pero siempre está cerca de nosotros. Pero cuando decimos next to es a la par de. A la par de. Especially on the street, right? In buildings. Cuando hablamos de calles y, y edificios, siempre hay uno que está a la par del otro, right? In between, look, is en medio de. Y we have the example, the department store is on Main Street. Look, Main Street, calle principal. And it's on the corner of Main and First. Está entre la esquina de la calle principal y la primera avenida. It's across from the park. This is the park. And across, we have the, the department store, right? It's next to the bank. There is the bank. And next to the bank, we have the department store, right? And then the bank is between the department and the restaurant. Este es un restaurante y este es un banco. En medio tenemos. No, sorry, excuse me. Este es el department store, right? Y este es el restaurant. The color red is the department store. And the color orange is the restaurant. So in the middle is the color blue, is the bank, right? Okay, let's continue. Bank. The bank is between the and let me point out the locations mentioned. The department store. The department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First. It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. The bank is between the department store and the restaurant. On the images, you can see the meaning of each preposition. Let's analyze the preposition on. 
we will use the preposition on to make reference that a place is on a particular street. If we take a look at the map on the screen, I'll make more examples using the preposition on. Gus gas station. Gus's gas station is on First Avenue. The U.S. Post Office. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Let's talk about the preposition on the corner of. If we analyze our example, the department store is on Main Street. It's on the corner of Main and First Avenue. Now let me give a couple of other examples using on the corner of. The movie theater is on the corner of Park Street and Main Street. The supermarket is on the corner of Main Street and 2nd Avenue. Let's move on with the preposition next to. Our example shows the department store is next to the bank. We could also say Maria's restaurant is next to the bank. Finally, the preposition between. As you can see on this map, the bank is between the department store and Maria's restaurant. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to give the location of all the places on this map. Okay. Now we're going to practice. We're going to make a practice here, right? We're going to do something special and very fast, right? Uh, let me see. Irving, I need you to Choose a place. Quiero que coja un lugar, right? And you make a question to one student in this class. You're going to make the question. Listen, listen. For example, if you say, ah, the city bank. Where is the city bank? Or where is the bank? Okay? Me voy a escoger a una persona en el grupo, Irving, y le voy a hacer esta pregunta. Where is the bank? La persona que le conteste... Por ejemplo, ese es solo un ejemplo. Usted puede escoger el restaurant, el post office, the gas station, the park, etcétera, etcétera. Puede escoger lo que usted quiera. Pero la persona que le conteste puede dar varias referencias. Puede decir, on the corner of second and main, between the department store and the restaurant, or next to the department store. Okay. O across from the movie theater. Etcétera, etcétera. La persona que le contesta puede dar cualquier referencia. Right? Okay. okay. Listen. And remember this. This is location. Estamos aprendiendo cómo hacer, eh, ubicar el lugar. No cómo llegar, no. Es solo ubicarlo. No, Irving? Who? Okay. ¿Quién es su víctima? Sorry, ¿quién es el estudiante? <laughs> <laughs> eh, ahorita le vemos a Abel. Abel. Hello. Ready, Abel? Abel. Come on, Irving. Go ahead. Uh, Abel, where is the restaurant? The restaurant um, The restaurant is uh, is um <laughs> Se me olvidaron, teacher, la palabra. ¿No puede, puede poner nuevamente. La, la. Listen, next to. Next es que quiero, ajá, quiero usar la de. Creo que es across. Across. Across, across to across the movie from, theater. Across, across from, from the movie theater, right? From the movie okay. theater. Thank yes. you very much. También, a ver, podía usar on the corner of second and main street. O podía usar next to the. Next to ah. the bank, right? Okay. Or across from the Danny's drugstore. Okay. Hay varias referencias ahí. Okay. Thank you. Vamos a ver ahora que nos ayuda Alejandro. Thank you, Abel. Alejandro, please. Now You're you welcome. make the... Thank you very much, Abel. And thank you, Irving. Now, Alejandro, you make yes, the sir. question. You make the question, right? Please. 
choose the student. Okay. Um, Could be uh, Alicia, Cindy, Alonso. Cindy is okay, teacher. Cindy, okay, Cindy, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, okay. Now, please, Alejandro. What is the post office, Cindy? No lo veo. Look, alcanza a ver el cursor. Ah, sí, sí. Okay, good. Yes. Eh, no, ese es un hospital. Eh, yes, it's a hospital. Very good. De acá, sí, Cindy. The post office is... Le vamos a ayudar a Cindy, ok. Across from, next to, or on the corner of. Next to? Ajá. The, the, the post hospital. Office. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Now, let me see, Alicia, the last one, please. Choose a student, Alicia, and make the last question, please. Okay. Listen, we have, entre la, I'm sorry, entre los estudiantes, tenemos a, a Claudia, Alonso, Juan Alfonso, Victor, Monica Monterrosa, Josué. Okay. Monica. Sorry? Monica. Monica. Okay, thank you. Come on, Monica. Hello. Hello. Hello, come on. Uh, Alicia is going to make a question, right? Va a una pregunta, Alicia. Come on. Where is the department store shoes? The department store. Uh, okay, the department store, right? Department no. Store dijo, ¿verdad, Alicia? No le escuché bien. Teacher, en el caso de la tienda, la zapatería sería? Eh, shoe Store. Ah, Shoe Store, shoe ok. Mónica, where is the Shoe Store? The Shoe Store is in Second Avenue. Okay, on Second Avenue, correct, that's nice, right? Y le voy a dar una que no la sabían, behind the movie theater, right? Atrás del movie theater, okay. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, let's continue with the next one, right? Okay, let me see. Good. Uh, Vamos a hacer una cosa para que nos alcance el tiempo. El 3.7 lo dejamos pendiente. ¿Me acuerdan mañana? ¿Ok? Ok. Uh, yeah. Se lo voy a explicar mañana. Ok, now. Directions and conver in, in one conversation. Is it far from here? Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask for and give directions. Additionally, you'll practice. Okay, ask for and give direction, right? Listen, en la, el primer video veíamos dónde está ubicado, location. Ahora vamos a aprender cómo llegar al lugar. Cómo llegar al lugar, okay? Pay attention. Which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Is it far from here? Let's listen and practice. Excuse me, ma'am. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk up 5th Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look up. 
Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. Excuse me, mom. Can you help me? How do I get? Means, como llego? Como llego? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Saint, that I means Santo, right? San, right? St. Patrick's Cathedral. Just walk up Fifth Avenue. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. Just walk up Fifth Avenue to 50th, 50th, 50th Street. St. Patrick's is on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Yes, it's right across from the Rockefeller Center right across from Rockefeller Center. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? Where is the Empire State Building? Is it far from here? Is it far from here? Está lejos de aquí, right? is right behind you it's right behind you just turn around and look up just turn around and look up good now let's continue Their state building is it functions now let's practice these phrases and vocabulary to give directions how do i get to rockefeller center Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Turn left on 49th Street. It's on the right. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Go down Fifth Avenue. Wait a minute. We're going to uh, practice the, the location. Right? Look, Empire State Building, right? Bryant Park. New York Public Library, La Biblioteca Pública de Nueva York, right? Rockefeller Center, Center Rockefeller. El pobrecito Rockefeller, right? St. Patrick's Cathedral, La Catedral de San Patricio, right? And Grand Central Terminal, La Terminal. Now listen again. Go up Fifth Avenue. Just give me a second. How do I get to Rockefeller Center? Walk up Fifth Avenue. Go up Fifth Avenue. Walk up. Camine hacia arriba por la quinta avenida, right? Fifth Avenue, aquí está, ¿ve? Vamos aquí y nos vamos hasta arriba, okay? Turn left on 49th Street. Y en la 49, turn left. Cruzamos hacia la izquierda, right? Turn left, aquí cruzamos, en la 49, right? It's on the right. It's on the right. Está a la derecha. Al cruzar, Rockefeller Center está a su derecha. Right? Nos vamos por aquí, en la 49, y está a la derecha. Okay, continue. How can I get to Bryant Park? Walk down Fifth Avenue. Okay, otra vez estamos acá en, en, en Fireside Building. Aquí estamos. Y nos vamos nuevamente por la quinta avenida, right? Go down Fifth Avenue. Turn right on 42nd Street. Turn right. Cruzamos en la 42. Here, right? Aquí cruzamos en la 42. Hacia la derecha, right? Turn right. It's on the left. It's on the left. Oh, no, perdón. Es que creo que aquí lo hicimos al revés. Discúlpeme. Estábamos aquí en Rockefeller, ¿verdad? Y nos íbamos para abajo, por eso cruzamos a la derecha. En la quinta avenida nos vamos para abajo y cruzamos a la derecha. Y luego el Bryant Park nos queda a la izquierda, right? On the left. Nuevamente, del Park State Building nos vamos a Rockefeller por la quinta, cruzamos a la 49 y lo tenemos 
a la derecha, right? Luego regresamos por la quinta, cruzamos en la, siempre en la quinta avenida, a la derecha, y nos vamos hasta el parque, y el parque queda a la izquierda, right? Complicated, right? Algo complicado, but let's continue. Listen. So, let me summarize the vocabulary we must learn. Four questions. How do I get to, and we mention a place. Or, how can I get to, then we mention a place. Four answers. Walk up, go up, walk down, go down. Turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left. Good. Estas son las primeras instrucciones de cuando alguien nos dice cómo llego a tal lugar. Que hay más todavía, hay muchas más, pero estas son como las principales. Entonces, aquí estamos preguntando cómo llego a tal lugar, right? How do I get a, a tal lugar? Y entonces aquí usamos esta, estas oraciones, okay? Make Now. sure you memorize this vocabulary as it will be essential to ask for and give directions. Now, let's try to analyze the expressions, walk up or go up. The first thing we want to do when given directions is to have a departing point. Where are you located and where do you want to go? Okay, so we're going to leave this for tomorrow, right? Eh, vamos a dejar esta práctica para mañana. El día de mañana tenemos las instrucciones específicas como hacer el examen midterm, right? El examen de medio curso, ¿sí? Mañana les voy a dar las instrucciones ítem por ítem. Hasta este momento, desde aquí en adelante, ya tienen que haber terminado las secciones 1, 2 y 3. <ríe> ok, so a lot of work to do. <ríe> ok, si hay algo que todavía no entienden, ahí estamos en el WhatsApp a sus órdenes. Y aquí en el Zoom, si ustedes quieren preguntar también mañana... Vamos a estar a sus órdenes para que saquen un 10, ¿ok? Porque algunos no me han hecho ciertos ejercicios, así que por favor, pongámonos al día. Y vamos a practicar esto de las direcciones porque está un poco complicadito, ¿verdad? Y vamos a terminar la clase de mañana con el reading y luego nos vamos al examen, ¿ok? Good. Any extra question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta extra? Por aquí tengo un mensaje, vamos a leerlo antes de terminar. Uh, ah, ok, tantas, dice Billy, hay muchas preguntas, pero hagámoslas, Billy, come on, hagamos las preguntas, para que nos sirva todo. Okay. ok, good, o en el chat, ¿verdad, Billy? En el chat, ahí estoy a sus órdenes. <laughs> ok, thank you very much. Eh, see you tomorrow, God bless you. See you. Good night. See you. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow.